What's going on you guys? This is Antoine aka The Big Fella bringing you another video. Uh, before we get into this week's video, I just have a quick question for you guys. It'll be a poll question right there in the top right hand corner of your screen. The question is, what day of the week should I post my second video? Because I plan on doing two videos a week now. Um, the first video, as you guys know, is always going to be on Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, the other one I plan on trying to have it post during the weekday. So uh, hop up in there in that little poll question and let me know what you got uh, day of the week that you guys would like to see that video. Now as for this week's video, I was the master of ceremonies at my goddaughter's baby shower. She should be born in February. I can't wait for her to get here. Um, I did that Saturday, so I wasn't able to go out with the hunt club, but don't worry, I still went out and I uh, did some still hunting or spot and stalking on Sunday, whichever you guys like to call it. Um, it was uneventful, but that doesn't mean it was unsuccessful or unproductive. Um, there's going to be some tips in this video to show you guys what I like to do when I have an uneventful day to make sure it's not unsuccessful or unproductive. So sit back, stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoy this video. we get back here i just want to go ahead and say a word of prayer lord father god we come to you now just to say thank you for another day father god we ask that you keep us safe as we're back here hunting in these woods father god we ask that you bless any animal that we take today father god for the nourishment for our bodies and uh, as we're out here let us please enjoy the nature that you've created for us these prayers and all prayers we pray for your name amen you guys we moved over to an area where we hunt at with the hunting club uh, we left the wildlife management area I forgot it was closed on Sundays but uh, we're here in the woods now and I'm uh, looking for a deer sign and I found a, a scrape in a licking branch you see I didn't think they would lick on a, a holly tree like this but um, I saw this right underneath of it and um, it kind of piqued my curiosity so I marked it on onyx hunt Well, you guys, we did a lot of walking through that property, so now we're going to hunt this property over here that's by the hunting club and um, see if we can get a deer. Well, y'all, I've sat here for about an hour or so, didn't see anything, not even a squirrel, so I might make my way further on down this path and uh, see if I can find squirrels, deer tracks, something. Not too far up the pathway, found this uh, licking branch here in a scrape. You can still see some of the track in it. I think I'm going to spray some doe urine in this. I'm going to use some of this buck bait, deer scent. Oops. Well, you guys, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's starting to snow. Um, I went ahead and uh, took out some game loads to see if we can shoot a couple of squirrels or something like that. But um, it seems like today, uh, even though we didn't see any deer, it still uh, wasn't a pointless hunt because the more walking we did, 
we were able to find some signs and stuff like uh, this scrape right here and um, some rubs and stuff like that. So uh, it's giving us a little bit better knowledge of like where to sit uh, when it's uh, time to come out and hunt. So definitely not a wasted trip. Well, you guys, today was uneventful, but it wasn't unproductive by any means. Uh, we saw some uh, deer signs, uh, rubs and scrapes and stuff like that. And I even made a few of my own. If you're wondering how to do that, I can show you really quick. I learned this trick. I believe his name is uh, Steve Bartilla. Um, I forget his YouTube channel, Deer and Deer Hunter. Um, I watch that channel a lot. And uh, he said some of the stuff he does is uh, he'll find a tree, you know, like uh, eye level. If you did, we'll just use this tree as an example. Um, he'll find like a limb that hangs right through the walkway. He just kick some dirt aside. Spray some scent in it and uh, call it a day. Um, watch his YouTube channel for a while now, especially at the beginning of this season, you know, getting ready for the season. And um, kills plenty of deer, just making mock scrapes is what he calls them. I'm just doing that to, you know, make it a productive day. And see, this one right here is a pretty good height too. I'm not gonna do one because it's like really, really close to the clubhouse up there. I know all the dog stuff barking, they probably wouldn't come too close to it. It didn't seem like it was snowing this bad in the woods, but we got out here in the open and uh, it's coming down pretty good. One of the best snack cakes around, Nutty Buddy. Weather like this deserves a meal like this. Well y'all, while that roast is cooking, I figured I'd go ahead and take me an Epsom salt bath in a jacuzzi tub here. It's been a long week. I've been uh, doing an install at work. I've been up and down ladders uh, for the better half of the week. And my legs are still kind of sore, you know, top that off with hunting. Um, legs are aching, so I'm gonna go ahead and sit in this for a little while and uh, go ahead and eat some dinner when it's done. You guys, we sometimes like to sit out here when it snows and watch the car struggle going up and down the hill. Ones that have no business out here. Put your feet in front of the heater. <laughs> My own gloves are in the truck. You guys aren't playing in the snow. We came out here to watch the cars. But... If you utilize the same skills every single day, it's the best of both worlds. Those are some of the things I like to do when I'm having an uneventful day in the woods to try to make it a productive day. Hopefully uh, deer activity will pick up here in the near future. Um, hunting season for us is over January 6th, so uh, only what three or four weeks left. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to get at least a couple more deer down before the season's out. I'm thinking I'm going to have to set up a couple of predator hunts. I believe the uh, population is down. That's why we're not seeing as many deer because there's so many coyotes. So we may have to take care of those guys so the deer population will pick back up. But uh, that is going to do it for this episode of Big Fella Outdoors. Be sure to tune in to the next episode. You can catch me outside doing what I love most. Getting my dose of the great outdoors. Be sure to get y'all's too.